Okay, what's going on with all my money motivated stars? Now, in this video, I'm gonna break down the meaning of killing two birds with one stone. And I'm gonna, I gotta elaborate on it because the video that I got for y'all, which is this video, is just explaining, you know, the demise of our community. So when it comes down to it, this video is titled two, Killing Two Birds with One Stone because anybody who don't know the example of the saying, I'm gonna break it down because I know I have a younger audience too. You know what I mean? I got all different age ranges. So when it comes down to the saying, killing two birds with one stone, it's just like, if I wake up in the morning and I'm finna be late for work and I need to get gas and I'm also hungry, I ain't got time to cook, I pull up to a gas station because all gas stations don't, don't have this service. You know, I pull up to a gas station and while I'm pumping my gas, I find out that this gas station serves food also. So I now I can go on now I'm pumping my gas and I can go in there and pay for me some food and by the time I'm done paying for my food my gas done pumping you know what I mean so now I ain't got to be late for work you know what I mean so I just killed two birds with one stone by stopping at the gas station who they also had it what I need you know what I mean to make my life better so when it comes I broke that down because I noticed in it's a guy called AZ Faison. Like, I didn't talk about him before on my channel. You know, that's the guy from, that's the real life guy from Paid in Full. He's not the actor. He was the guy that was, uh, Wood Harris was playing him. You know what I mean? The actual guy who was, um, in the Say Cheese interview I just watched. I watched a couple of his interviews. He didn't did like Vlad TV like twice. I know he getting tired of telling the same story, but he's the people, he's the person that Wood Harris portrayed the person they call Ace in uh, the Paid in Full movie. Now, if you haven't watched it, it was a drug movie. It's one of my favorite movies, you know what I mean? Even though it's a drug movie, I just like the characters and the acting was, uh, they acted their ass off in that movie. But to make my point, I was watching like the real guy, AZ Faison. He was telling like the story of Paid in Full and he was basically saying like, when they was trapping, you know what I'm saying, selling drugs, they, the, I'm gonna show y'all what he said. Look, the police just ride by. You know what I mean? Like, it's all right. So fuck it, we, ain't, we didn't feel like we was breaking the law. So it's like, it's the stuff we been doing, but what, what inspired me to make this video, I was on Facebook and I seen another post from the guy uh, from the YSL trial, Woody, the one they calling the snitch, the sh uh, calling the snitch. And, uh, he was basically saying, basically, the police weren't locking me up. Everybody said I did, the police weren't locking me up. They were really going to my head, psyching me out. And, I and it's like the same thing, you know what I mean? Because, and then it was crazy, it's in two different time periods. Like, Woody is like my generation, you know, in his 30s. I forgot how old uh, AZ Faison is, but I think they was, I think they was trapping like in the 90s or the 80s. Do not uh, quote me on that, but those are two different uh time periods and as you can see the same thing is going on so when it comes down to it man this government when they got some of these not all police officers are corrupt you know what i mean but it started off as like an organization to help the demise of black people that's why he'll tell you you see like these are not my words these this is the person who actually lived there he said the police would just ride by you know what I mean? Because they want, they killing two birds with one stone. Not only are they using him as a, as a person who's dishing the drugs out into the community. You know what I mean? He's poisoning the community. You know what I'm saying? He's selling, uh, I think he, he wasn't selling crack, but he sell coke. You know what I mean? He's still a drug. You know what I mean? He was pushing it out into the community. And then you really can say they're killing three birds with one stone because he making a lot of money out there. They said it was making like 50,000 a day. You know what I mean? He making he making money in the community. And then whenever the police uh bust them, they taking the money from them. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure they not turning their money in. They get to sit back and watch the hustles hustle and kill your community at the same time. And then, like I said, this will make it killing three birds at one time. A lot of the kids and the youth are looking up to behavior like this. So. Not only are you poisoning the community, you taking money from them when they get a lot of money, and you inspiring the youth to also do the same thing. Not even just the youth, the people my age or older, you know what I'm saying, want to get in the drug game, the dope game, not because now 
they're seeing all the tension they're getting, all the money they're getting, and it's just uh turning into a cycle. You know what I mean? So that's why I said, hey, man, they're killing two birds with one stone. This been going on. And when I watch these uh interviews of people saying stuff like this, I go to the comment section, everybody talking about how he snitch. They talk about the wrong things, but they don't never say, you know, <laughs> this is all a plan from the get-go. You know what I mean? This is all a plan to just make the people you get you it's crazy because you making y'all you making a people that you don't like kill their own people you know what i mean there's like a disease in your body or you putting wrong stuff in your body you're creating cancerous cells by putting this stuff in your body so it can attack your body you know what i mean everything they do got us working against our cells they killing two birds with one stone when they do stuff like this and then you got the people they just get in it and they keep on doing it because the attention they get. You know what I mean? The attention. You got the uh, kids looking at looking at these guys. They getting the attention. They getting the women. They getting the cars, the clothes. You know what I mean? Anything they want. Just like that's why for the prime example. That's why uh, Mitch, aka Makai Pfeiffer, said this in that scene. A nigga could leave the league, but if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man. He was basically saying, yeah, man, I can get out the dope game. I can get out the league. But if I get out the league, if people going to treat me the same, is the fans still going to be there? And nine times, 10 times out of 10, they not. Probably a couple of your family members still be there. And a, you know what I'm saying? A couple of uh, a down women that was with you, you know what I mean? From when you had nothing. But everybody ain't going to be there. That's why a lot of people don't get out the uh, drug game. You know what I mean? To this day. That's why you see all these rappers uh, rapping about it. It's popular. Everybody's a, you know what I'm saying, a street dude, a street nigga. Everybody uh, a shotter. Everybody catching bodies. Everybody got a couple bodies under their belt. You know what I mean? And they doing the same stuff. It's, it's a continued cycle. You know what I mean? Just like murder is. The drug game going to be a continued cycle. Murder going to be a continued cycle. Um, pimping going to be a continued cycle. And it all goes back to that movie. They clone Tyrone. I had a lot of different refer references before that movie came out, just like The Matrix and all the other uh, different movies. But that movie hit the black community head on when they made that movie. That's why I'm going to always reference that movie, even though it's so many other references that you can pull from the catalog of different films. You know what I mean? But that movie should have been a wake-up call to all black people, all people over the world. But that movie, was, you know, it was directly directed at black folks in our community. That's why you basically saw nothing but black folks. You know what I mean? They showing you, they always watching you, they always filming you. Like he said, the police is watching him. It, uh, Woody said that, Woody said the police was watching him. It, it made him have a big ego. He was like, man, I can do crime, I can shoot. And people telling me, cause in the interview he said, the people was telling them, the police that they know who did, it was him. And he was like, they weren't locking me up. <laughs> Because they want this stuff to keep on going on. It's like I said, go back to the movie, they cloned Tyrone. They needed all those pimps and prostitutes while they was cloning them in the movie. Because they needed that destruction in the uh, black community to keep on going on. Keep on going on, keep on going on. Because if those people are gone, then what? A lot of crime stops. A lot of people get back to their sense. A lot of people can breathe easy. You know what I mean? But they need to create a lot of tension in the community. A lot of mental illness. So we can be afraid of our own people. You know what I mean? Like I, like Marlon Wayne said, we living in a mental institution when you coming from the hood. It ain't too many people who ain't battling PTSD. And some of them just don't know they battling it. You know what I mean? Like I said, this is how it is. People got to, once you recognize it, you got to start recognizing it and start changing it. You know what I mean? What can you do to help your mental health? Can I eat? Can I practice this? Can I, you know what I mean? Cause like YouTube University can teach you a lot of stuff. I done learned a lot of stuff on this internet that I applied, you know what I'm saying, to myself and my body and my mind. So a lot of people ain't trying to apply. When it comes down to it, man, this this is this is the reason why stuff is going on. Cause once somebody like he said, once somebody selling drugs, or once somebody shooting, you know what I'm saying, shooting up a club, and you see ain't nothing, ain't no, ain't no repercussions gonna come behind it. What it's gonna make you do is gonna make you do it more. That's why they didn't lock them up. That's why they didn't lock the drug the drug uh dealers up in the past. You know what I mean? 
they need other people to go do it. Now, they'll lock other people up who sell drugs, but the main characters, you know what I mean? Like they say, main character syndrome. Ace was one of those main people, so the people who really started and really doing it and getting away with it, they're the staple for that, you know what I mean? Like I, that's, that's like really killing four birds with one stone, because like I said, they're taking the money from the people who selling the drugs, you know what I mean? Even though that's not always the case, some people have stash spots and all that. But they, that's one taking them, uh, what taking the money from the people, they inspiring other people to do it. You know what I mean? And people are getting locked up behind it. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's it's like they just killing four birds with one stone when it comes to the culture, and uh, it's still going on. People gotta be able to recognize that they being played with. All these interviews, all these movies and stuff is showing you something. A lot of people just ignoring it and just getting the entertainment out of it. If you're going to get the entertainment out of it, that's cool. But still be able to read between the lines and know that these movies have a great significance to what environment you stay in. Not everybody live in these environments, but still, it's, you're still being affected by it. Because whether you live in the suburbs or not, it's still hood dudes that travel to the suburbs who lack a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? And it's still a suburb of people who still buy drugs. You know what I mean? If you ask me, me being from the hood, those are the people who buy the drugs the most. They just can't afford it. And they look more clean. You know what I mean? Their lifestyle and their mental is more positive. So they not really uh, showing the signs of an addict or showing the signs of somebody who don't have that much. You know what I mean? Because trust me, they purchase drugs often. So... That's all I want to say in this video, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like on this uh, video. Y'all make sure y'all uh, subscribe and share the video if y'all like it. But y'all be blessed on walking in smoke.